What's going on everyone? It's Abdallah here bringing you guys a review and unboxing video of the brand new Elgato Stream Deck. Now, shout outs to my friends over at Elgato for providing it. I'm pretty excited because I do a lot of streaming on my YouTube channel and having the ability to switch up scenes and add things on the fly rather than moving the mouse and finding them is going to be really awesome. So. Let's do a quick unboxing and then we'll give you some tips and tricks about how you can incorporate this particular piece of hardware into your streaming gameplay. All right, let's do this. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, here we are. Uh, it says Stream Deck, evolve your content. I'm pretty excited for this because we love this. As you guys can see right on screen over here, it says customization on your terms. Easy setup, drag and drop actions on in the Stream Deck app. You get personalized keys, create your own icons, choose from hundreds. So that's going to be great. Studio power at your fingertips. Oh, that's pretty awesome. Uh, tech talk control, tap to stream, record, switch scenes, and more. Ooh, live media, launch on screen uh, audio clips. Instant engagement, tweet at the perfect moment. What? Oh, that's great. And compatible with your preferences. Elgato uh, Game Capture HD, Twitter, OBS, Twitch, YouTube, and more. Tippy stream. All right, adjustable stand. Oh, that's great. Well, let's pop this bad boy open. Uh, we can see over here that there is a little bit of the uh, plastic tape, but we can jam through that with our nails really easily. Of course, I wouldn't recommend doing that. Grab a pair of scissors and you'll be good to go. So here we have it. Let's see if we can shimmy this thing out. And it just should lift up. Oh yeah, here we go. This thing is probably stuck. Perfect, perfect, right here, boom. All right, so nothing else in the box besides a little nice felt cover. This is actually a sturdy box. I like that. All right, here we have it. This is the uh, quick start guide. We'll have to take a look at this a little bit later. Uh, it says connect the Stream Deck uh, directly to the USB port on your Mac or PC. Do not use a USB hub. Uh, install the software, launch the uh, Stream Deck, drag actions from the right panel. So there's a little bit of configuration here. We'll, we'll actually take a look and see how to do that. And I'll give you guys a, a run through of what exactly that's like. So easy, we've got the Stream Deck uh, <laughs> instruction manual. And this is it right here. As we can see, this is the Stream Deck, all with very nice little buttons and whatnot. Uh, you've got your USB cable. It looks pretty lengthy, so you can easily plug that in wherever you need it to. Uh, let's take a look. And you can take this off. And then here is the little stand that it comes with. So I kind of want to see this. Like, what exactly does this do? Oh, okay. So you can kind of pick and choose, like, what... Um, yeah, let's see. We can pick and choose, like, what kind of uh, tilt you want on it. So if you want this kind of tilt, you can recline back even further and then go from there. That's pretty cool. Or you could even just make it like that. Yeah, yeah, you can do many different angles of tilt thanks to the uh, these little flaps in the back. That's really cool. I like that a lot. All right, so cool. Let's actually do uh, the default first tilt right there. Let's put our stream deck right inside there. And uh, it does have a little bit of a I don't want to say it like clasp, but it feels like it locks in. It, it's probably like magnetic. Yeah, it, it feels that way. It feels like it's magnetic right there. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Stream Deck. Of course, it's not lit up or anything like that. We haven't hooked it up, but uh, give me a couple moments. We're going to jump onto my computer, and we're going to figure out how the software works. And I'm going to get this loaded up, and I'm going to give you guys a shot as, uh, as far as what it can do for you. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. I've got this thing completely set up. Of course, it's not at its max potential, but we got something going for it. So as you guys can see right over here, there are so many different icons that we can use in order to customize our streams. We have a Nintendo Switch icon that I custom made, and by clicking on that, you can see right over here that uh, I've made a couple of screens based off the games that I'm currently playing. Uh, Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle, Sonic Mania, Splatoon 2, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, and we also have Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. And of course, you can click backwards. And for Nintendo 3DS, I can click on that. And of course, we got Miitopia, Hey Pikmin, and of course, Ever Oasis. A couple games that I'm playing right now on my YouTube channel. So it's pretty awesome. Uh, of, of course, I've got this spot right here, which allows us to go to mobile capture. We're doing a little bit of Fire Emblem Heroes. Now, you guys might be wondering, like, what 
this is all about. Like, what does this do? So now that I've got some custom things going on here, you can also take a look at the software on board. And I'm just gonna zoom into my screen right over here. This is the Stream Deck software, which allows you to pretty much customize everything you need inside the actual Stream Deck itself. You can drag and drop icons wherever you want in order to move them and customize them however you want. So I'm gonna take a look over here. Uh, you can see that if I click on Nintendo Switch, we can absolutely open up that folder and then you can kind of move things around. You can click and drag whatever you want. And these are just scenes from XSplit which is what I mainly use for all of my streaming. So we'll see right over here that if we take a look at my XSplit screen, which is right here, pretty good, right? So you can see me holding the camcorder there. Uh, if I grab the awesome Stream Deck, which is right here, of course that cord is in the way, but boom, you could hit that Stream Deck and whatever uh, XSplit scene I want, I can actually click on it. So right there, there's my Mario and Rabbit's Kingdom battle. Here is Sonic Mania. You can see it just automatically, seamlessly switch scenes from there, uh, which is really good. We've got uh, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. We've got a lot of fun stuff with that. So you can also click back, and then if I want uh, something from Nintendo 3DS, like Metopia, we can do it exactly like there. Or if we want uh, this next one, which is Hey Pikmin, we can absolutely change just seamlessly uh, with Ever Oasis. So that's really cool. If you guys use XSplit or if you guys use uh, OBS, you have uh, functionality with there. Uh, I also have a button for full screen in case I wanted to go to a cutscene within any kind of game. Uh, and of course we have uh, a desktop capture which shows me recording all you guys. Hey, what's up? So yeah, full screen. And then of course there's also a button uh, in case you want to integrate tweeting. You can actually click on that and tweet something out if you have your uh, account set up. And of course we have the end screen uh, that we can click on there and uh, hey, there's me right there. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, of course I also have a record button for local recording. There's just so much that you can do and uh, just taking a look at it. This thing is really awesome. Now let's take a look at the other things that you can do really quick. I will hold this like so. And uh, forgive the shaky camera quality, but this is uh, exactly how I'm gonna be doing it. Uh, so you guys can open up Tippy Stream and uh, in case you guys are, I don't know, on top of that, I don't necessarily use it. We have OBS Studio. You can do scenes, mixer, audio, source. You can do XSplit like, uh, like I did over here for recording, screenshots, uh, output, mic, speakers. Of course, you can go to Twitter. You can do some Twitch stuff in case you guys are uh, Twitch streamers. You can do chat message, viewers, play ad, stream title, sub chat, slow chat, followers chat, and emote chat. And not to mention you could, you could do a whole bunch of system stuff uh, like open up a website, you can do hotkeys, all that fun stuff. Multimedia, you can turn on and off some music. So yeah, everything in the palm of your hands with this very cool looking stream deck. I wish the USB cord was a little bit longer. That's really the only thing that I would say that's bad about it. But this definitely saves a lot of time with all of your uh, scene switching and everything like that. You have it at your fingertips and all these icons are fully customizable. There's no, you don't have to worry about not having anything. I jumped all these icons into Photoshop with a uh, pretty much a 1000 by 1000 file and I was able to customize them however I want. And you can make so many different folders, there's so many different buttons. These buttons are nice and squishy too, so whenever you press them, uh, you know, there's a little bit of feedback on there. So I really appreciate that. And uh, yeah, I think that this is gonna be great. This is gonna be helping me with all of my live streaming. In case you guys not have, uh, you haven't gotten one already, please do so. Visit the links in the description below to check it out. And once again, thanks to my friends over at Elgato for providing the stream deck for this awesome review. But yeah, I can't wait to use it in my upcoming live stream, so be sure to smash that like button and share the video. We'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you so much for watching.